Hello everyone, I am Shraddha from How to Electronics. In this video, we will learn interfacing of APDS9960 gesture, RGB and proximity sensor with Arduino and display the various parameters on serial monitor. The video is sponsored by Next PCB. Currently, Next PCB is offering only $7 for SMT prototype orders. The prototype includes 1 to 5 pieces with no any component limit with free stencil and SMT Plus DIP service. To avail this offer, go to the SMT Cure section and fill the details like quantity, number of path through holes, extra testing. Select the country for shipment and click an order. Then you can upload your Gorber files, bill of materials, and send Droid files. That's it. To learn more about the PCB assembly capabilities, you can visit this section. One more thing. Currently, you can get 20% discount on all the PCB ordering services. The APT S9960 sensor offers ambient light and RCV color measuring as well as proximity detection and gesture sensing. This sensor been used in Samsung Galaxy S5 earlier and is used in many mobile phones as a proximity sensor. This sensor works on I2C communication protocol. It operates on voltage range of 2.4 to 3.6 volt and consumes really small current of 0.2 mA. So it is a power efficient sensor. This sensor consists of four photodiodes. These photodiodes detect the reflected IR energy which is transmitted by an onboard LED. So whenever any gesture is performed, then this IR energy gets obstructed and reflects back to the sensor. Now the sensor detects the velocity and direction information and converts it into digital information. APTS9960 also has a detection range of 4 to 8 inches or 10 to 20 cm. The APTS9960 sensor has 6 pins. VL is optional power to the IR lead. ZND is for ground connection. VCC is the power supply to the board. Can be 2.4 to 3.6 volt. STA is the I2C serial data address pin that is used to transfer the data through I2C. SEL is the I2C serial clock line pin that provides clock pulse for I2C communication. IND is the external interrupt pin. It is active low during interrupt event. Now let's just see the architecture. The architecture of the gesture engine features automatic activation based on proximity engine results, ambient light subtraction, crosstalk cancellation, dual 8-bit data converters, power saving interconversion delay, 32 data set, first in first out and interrupt driven I2C communication. Power consumption and noise are minimized with adjustable IR lead timing. Let's just connect the APTS9960 sensor with Arduino. We will be using the Arduino UNO boards for interfacing the APTS9960 sensor. We must use 3.3V to power the sensor. If we try to use 5V power supply, we may risk damaging the APTS9960. Connect the SDA pin to A4 of Arduino and SEL to A5. Connect its INT pin into D2. So here is my circuit assembly on breadboard. I made the same connection as for the circuit diagram. Now let's just check the code part. This code is for gesture sensing and has been taken from library examples. The code will simply print the detected gesture on serial monitor. After uploading code, all you need to do is swipe your hand in left, right or forward, backward direction. It can also detect the near and far motions. Now let's just say the color code. It is also taken from example. The sensor gives the RGB values directly so you don't need to do any calculations to fetch them. After uploading code, bring the different color object in front of the sensor. In my case, I am using an Android app for generating various colors. Just change the color and bring it near sensor. You will see change in the frequency.
The sensor can also be used as a proximity detector. So here is the proximity sensing code. After uploading the code, bring your hand closer or far away from the sensor. It will give you the proximity distance. It can measure up to 10 to 20 cm. Well, that's all from today's video. Thank you for watching.